I'm Mike, and what I have for you today is just a bit of a fun video. I've got a couple of unboxings to do today, and I wanted to start with one that I actually got on Friday. But instead of really opening it and getting everything out of it, I've been playing Metroid Dread. So I feel like I, I needed to do this <laughs> to force myself to play with the toys that I bought, because... Um, if I don't, I'm just gonna keep playing Metroid Dread. Anyways, I don't know what online toy stores you use. I don't really use a lot of them. I typically stick with like Dorkside and stuff. But for some reason, I've been selectively here and there putting things in my Big Bad Toy Store pile of loot. If you're not entirely sure what that means, Big Bad Toy Store is an online retailer. This is not sponsored, by the way. They're not giving me any money for this. This is just something that's happening in my life as a collector. Big Bad Toy Store, if you're watching this, like, we could work something out, but this is just my experience. But uh, I've been putting things on there, but not shipping them because they have a flat rate shipping fee. So every time I ship something, it's like six bucks or whatever, plus the tax, and they ship that. So there are things that I've wanted, but haven't really like needed. Like it's, it's like, oh yeah, I'd like to have that, but like I don't need it right now. So I've been like just holding them on the, the pile of loot, which is like a stash. They let you kind of build up and then you can ship it all at once and just pay the flat rate fee instead of, you know, individually as things come out. It makes sense. But it hit the point where they were like, hey, this thing in your store is going to auto ship because it's been there too long. So if you don't ship it soon, we're just gonna ship it to you anyway. So I was like, fine, ship me my first pile of loot. I've never done this, but I always see how people do it. I always see people get piles of loot and it's kind of fun. Although it's been weird having bought like toys and like months ago, and I had to nab them. But uh, one just came in that I'm super excited about, and I just kinda wanna talk you through my purchases. It's a little bit of a flex, I guess, a little bit of a celebration of toys and, you know, being a four-year-old man who loves to buy toys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these. We're gonna, I'm gonna open them up. I'm gonna play with them a little bit, I guess. I don't know if that sounds like something fun you wanna do. Let's do it, but the first thing on top here, is the third, I'm just gonna put that down here, of my Ninja Turtles from Super 7. This is Michelangelo. I have Raphael and Leonardo, and Donatello's supposed to come out sometime soon. I was actually hoping to save shipping my pile of loot until Donatello came out, and then I could just get that. Uh, but one of these figures, the oldest figure in here, wasn't gonna let that happen. So I just figured like, why, why not? I'll just do this instead. So this is not my first rodeo in this, but I think it might be the first time I've opened one up on like an actual video. The other two I think I've done on, on live or just like not on a stream at all. I just opened it because it's mine. But you know, like I said, I figured I might as well. So let's get it out of this little shipper box here. They all have this shipper box. Actually, every figure I've ever ordered from Super 7 has had this protective shipper box, and that's nice. Now, so far, I haven't actually been too impressed with the Super 7 Turtles. I don't think they're bad, but for the amount of time it takes for them to get made and uh, for like the cost they are, these things are like, I think they're like 45 bucks. Uh, I just haven't been super impressed with them. I don't really buy a lot of Super 7 figures. I have some of their early Motu Ultimates. I think I have He-Man, Skeletor, and Tila. Actually, that's it. I don't think I have any of the Super 7. I do have the G.I. Joe wave on order, but I think I might cancel it. I don't know. I don't know. I bought it because like it was hyped and everything, but since it's a pre-order, it hasn't charged until it actually comes in stock, and that won't be for a while. So I might just cancel that. I I'm still thinking about it. The bat does look good, but uh, who knows? Anyways, this is Michelangelo. This is the box he comes in. A little slip cover right here. Boop. There we go. As you can see, we've got Michelangelo in all his glory. So he comes with a couple different things here. He comes with uh, the toy themed head, the weapons pack. His original toy came with that, you know, the weapons pack that was on the little rack, and you had to like cut them off to, to have their weapons. So it comes with that, but also comes with the weapons not in that, and they're painted. So like we have nunchucks with real chains. We've got his grappling hook that he used in later seasons, because I guess he got in trouble for having nunchucks. And then we've got that little like, pizza <laughs> It's like a dagger thing, like a pizza dagger thing. We got some throwing stars. We got this other little knife. I don't know what any of these things are, but all of them came with it, and no, no kids knew what these things were. I've got no idea what they are anyway. Uh, but it also looks like in the back, it comes with plastic versions of the nunchucks. So we have basically six nunchucks in this box. 
That's a lot of accessories. Let's go ahead and um, open this up. I got my knife here, so we're just gonna pop that open. I just wanna get you a closer look. Now, ideally, I would have thought this through a little bit better and gotten the other two turtles to kind of compare them, but that's not what this video is about. Uh, I might do a, once they all come out, I might do that and compare it to like the original toys and compare it to like some of the other releases and stuff. Let's take a look here real quick. This is what I was talking about. So we have that little plastic bit where you can, if you want to cut these off and use them instead, because that's what the original toy kind of came with there. And then they also have these alternate hands here. So we have things like um, fisty hands up here. We have a uh, little, little C hands, the C grips they call them, but I call them cuppy hands. We have kind of open splayed hands down here. And then we also have, uh, the, these are the plastic nunchucks with solid, solid chains. He does have these weird loose hips. They all have that problem. Michelangelo is somewhat special to me because he was my first Ninja Turtle. I remember going, you know, I, I used to say it was Toys R Us, but it, after watching Dan Toy, Toy Galaxy's video on Children's Palace, I might have bought my first Ninja Turtle from Children's Palace. It was a while ago. I bought my first Ninja Turtle and it was Michelangelo. I'd never heard of them. I didn't know they were a TV show. I just remember going down the aisle and seeing these colorful figures and one of them sort of had my name, Michael. And I was like, I need that, I want that. So if you want more of a toy look, you can keep that head on there or it just pops right off like that. And you can put, this is, a, this is a freaky head. I'm not a big fan of it. I actually am not a big fan of any of these heads. They just look weird. The sculpting on them looks weird. I'm just not a fan of that head sculpt. That is a weird head sculpt. But you know, we got the belt with the M on it. And then like I said, we got these weird little painted things. And it's the same thing that comes on here. It's just right there. So you can put those in their hands if you want to. I'm never gonna take them out. It's cool they come with it, but I'm never gonna use them. I am, however, going to pose him with his nunchucks because that's important for Michelangelo. This line from my blinds down my face, I shouldn't record it this time of day, but it's Sunday when I'm recording this and it's like the time I have to do it. Uh, anyway, so this is how it's gonna go on my shelf right there. I'm gonna go find the Leonardo and Michelangelo and do the same thing there. I think that looks that looks really nice. I like that a lot. Oh, we gotta take his other Mike nunchucks and put them. Do you put them chained up or chained down? I think I always put them chained down. Like that just makes more sense to me to have the chain hanging rather than sticking up. Uh, Cause you know, back in the day, this was not a chain. It was just a little piece of plastic. So I felt like it looked better hanging like this rather than unnaturally going up like that. I don't know, that's just how my brain worked or still does work, I guess. So we'll put that there. We're going to put all these on the ground and we're gonna move on to the next thing here. Uh, and you know, I'm gonna do this one first because the third thing is the, kind of the big thing I was looking forward to the most. Michelangelo is gonna hang out here. This, I've got this little box right here uh, and it says SH Figure Arts Black Condor. If you don't know what that is, this is a Super Sentai from Jetman. Now a little backstory here. Uh, sometime back in, I think June, Toy Galaxy posted his favorite Super Sentai series. Ranked high on there was Jetman. And just for fun, I was like, you know what? I kind of want to just, I want to see what this Sentai is all about. Uh, and I went on Shout Factory's website and they had like 12 or so seasons of the original Super Sentai and Jetman was on there. So I just started watching it from episode one and I immediately fell in love with it. It's ridiculous, over the top, cheesy, but like in kind of a good way. I really, really enjoyed it. Jetman aired, I believe it was 91, from 91 to 92 and it was the series directly for, before G-Ranger which became Power Rangers in the United States. So you know, it was about the same quality as the cheesy Japanese Power Ranger uh, you know, gra graphics and effects and things like that. So uh, I liked it. And then I told Dan, and we actually watched a couple episodes together over, you know, Zoom or whatever. And then we've moved on to Jew Ranger. We finished that. And now we're actually moved on to Die Ranger, which is my favorite so far. Love it. So if you watch Sentai and you watch Die Ranger or any of these, let me know down in the comments down. But anyways, Jetman, this was my favorite character from Jetman. Guy is his name. He is an asshole kind of. 
Uh, his first episode that he suits up and he punched a bad guy right in the dick and it was great. He's sort of a womanizer, you know, not, not great when it comes to consent, uh, which is not something to celebrate, but, uh, you know, he's got his character flaws. Nothing was too egregious. Nothing was overt, which, you know, kept it from being like, Ooh, I don't feel good watching this, but a little bit like, dude, you shouldn't be doing that. This is black condor which is the you know, the black member of Jetman. Again, this is from the season directly before what became Power Rangers on there. The suit is fun. I really like this suit. And Hasbro's never going to make this in the Lightning Collection, which is sad. And they're never going to make the Dire Rangers other than the White Ranger, which if you're not in the know, the White Ranger from Power Rangers came from Dire Ranger, as did all the Thunder Zords. This is an SH figure art figure. So we get... The figure itself, we get a ton of hands, ton of these little hands, like all whatever kind of finger <laughs> thing you want, they, they can do it. He comes with his sword, which they all have. He comes with uh, his blaster. He comes with the upgraded blaster they put their sword into. There's a lot of shit in here that I actually don't even know what it all does. Uh, this is supposed to fit on his back somehow because it's, it's the wings. Sometimes they do wings and they can fly. Oh, uh, this is the wing gauntlet that they use sometimes. There's a lot of fun stuff in here. I like this. I'm gonna, honestly, there's too much in here to really play around with for a while. Ah, uh, this is great. They only made two figures from Jetman, SH Figure Arts, and Black Condor was on Big Bad Toy Store for 45 bucks. And I was like, boom, sold, done, don't care. I'm buying this like right away. So I really like this. The joints are all super tight. I only have a couple of SH Figure Arts figures. Uh, the Vegeta I got, his joints are not, not tight at all. He's gonna be fun to mess around with for sure. So thanks Dan, if you're watching this, I'm pretty sure you're watching this. Uh, thanks for letting me know about that. But then lastly, the last thing that I got was Goliath. Now this is actually of the thing I was looking forward to the most. And of all these things that I've ordered here today, this was the thing that I ordered the longest to go. It's not what almost shipped. The, gaunt, the black condor was the thing that almost shipped. That was the thing that it was in stock when I bought it. So it sat in my pile of loot for a while. But I ordered this when it got announced. And then it took forever to come out, but it just came out in Big Bad Toy Store like last week. And I, it, as soon as it came out and I saw that this thing was gonna off ship anyway, I was like, screw it, ship, ship the entire thing. I love, 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 love Gargoyles. Absolutely love it. It was my jam as a kid. I was the absolute right age for whatever this was. So we have the tail. It's like a weird bendy tail. All right. So he's got a little thing around here. I see. Okay. All right. So I think I need to cut. Try Maybe try to cut it from the back like that. There we go. So now I have chipped away the anchors on all the little plastic bits holding it in. And I've got Goliath in hand. And look at this big ass Mama Jamma, oh my goodness. This is great. So we're gonna take the tail here, pop that right in there. Dun, 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 dun. Stone by day, warriors by night. So we have that, but then also, he's got these big ass, oh, gigantic wings. Now, I take issue with, with the wings. It's cool. I'm, don't think I don't think they're cool. Please. They're cool. Oh, and they're ratcheted. The problem I have with the wings is how much space this takes up. It's a lot. Especially because the majority of the time, they don't hang out with their wings just hanging out. They have them folded around them like they're a cape. And if I had my druthers, they would be on my shelf on the as a cape, not, not as wings like this, because who has this much shelf space? Look at this thing. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Especially with this calm face like this. Like that's a calm, calm face. He does come with his like pupilless, I'm super angry face. And I'll probably, since he's got his wings out like that, I'll, that's probably how I'll 
have him displayed. So this is Goliath. He's the leader of the Gargoyles. He's voiced by Keith David. The rest of the cast are vo all voiced by like super popular people and a lot, a lot of Star Trek alumni <laughs> lent their voices to the show. So this is almost, almost a Star Trek show, but it had fun instances of like mythology in there, Greek mythology, Macbeth stuff, all in those. Like there's literally Macbeth in there. <laughs> Like Odin's in there, Puck is in there, uh, and he's voiced by Data. <laughs> so you're like, uh, Xanatos is voiced by Riker, Demona is Deanna Troy. There's a lot of stuff here, but like, look at the, just the absolute audacity of this figure. He looks great, he looks fantastic. I just wish that they could have given wings that folded around and hooked together on the front to become their cape instead of unfurled like this. Or I wish that these, these are solid plastic. I wish that this had had some sort of articulation so I could reduce the amount of girth that it has, cause it is girthy, <sighs> but it looks good. So it comes with a couple other things here. On top of, you know, the tail and the extra head and the wings and all that that we've kind of played with so far. He comes with a couple of extra hands. We have some, we have, we've got two fisty hands so we can, you know, make fists. And then we have this one, like, holdy hand. And with that holdy hand, he comes with one of the best accessories ever, which is just a book. I wish more characters just came with books. That's fun. And then he comes with the weirdest one. Uh, uh, well, it's a, it's a pepper, it's a jalapeno, but in the show they say jalapeno. Uh, it's a running joke, it's a thing. I don't care about it, it's a weird, it's a weird Easter egg nod. But yeah, that's Goliath. Look at this thing, I love this thing. So that's been my pile of loot. Which one of these were your favorite? Do you like gargoyles? Do you like Ninja Turtles? Do you like Jetman or Super Sentai or Power Rangers? Let me know. I love to read and respond to all of the comments. I'd also love to take a moment and thank these people here for supporting me on Patreon at an unboxing level or higher. Thank you so much for doing that. It means a lot to me that you have helped the channel out in this way. If Patreon's not your thing, you can also support the channel uh, on the, my YouTube membership, or you can just like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell to get more notifications. And with that, that's it. Thanks for watching, thanks for getting this far, and I'll see you later. Bye.